Well, A, Mona Vale W, that's a white team. Pacific Palms there, the A team. Uh, North Cronulla Gold, South Karuba C and Karawa A. It's North Cronulla lining up. And, of course, this C was very big on Friday. Saturday morning they had to battle some uh, big swell again. Settled down over the last uh, 24 hours or so, but still a tricky little uh, shore break. South Maroubra C there, good to see them back into uh, contention. Mona Vale, familiar cap, they're always around finals time, and this should be a marvellous race. Marvellous race. Five out of six from New South Wales, Dale, one from Queensland. These guys now will all be as physically fit as they're going to get. It's all about focus. I'm just checking up on that uh, Pacific Palms crew. You're looking there in the yellow boat, the dark blue cap with a gold stripe. Steve Scott is this sweep. And he, uh, ex Collaroy boy, he went up to uh, this little area up near Forster in New South Wales. There's Steve Scott there. And if he's not the best coach in Australia at the moment, well, I haven't met him yet. And what he's done with his club with old gear and limited resources is unbelievable. And I've got a feeling that um, he should have won the under-18s. He, he was filled up yesterday and put out of business. His girls' crews have been competitive. And uh, he's had old boats and old oars to work with. And he's just done a marvellous job. Well, if it is him, just as, as you say, we're just checking on that. It is Steve Scott. I'm just wondering about the 18 the, the crew, crew, that's all. Because if it is, they've gone around in the under-18s and done some rounds here. They've probably got to get to this final, uh, been out and back about probably seven or eight times to get to this final. All right, set for a start now. Hands go up from the sweeps. Starter will try and give them as much of a chance to get over the shore break and then onto that bank. North Cronulla, you'll see the boys line up. Now, this is very hard for the boys because they've got to keep the boat where the sweep wants it. In they go. Look at the power now. Straight away. Straight away they dig in deep. And look at the speed of the boats as they hit and crash and splash through that shore break now. But the power down from North Cronulla, they got a beautiful start. You saw them go in. And how quick do they get motoring? Great going. About 750 kilos, fully rigged and crewed. About two or three half strokes into your full stroke and keep it long and strong through the whole race. To get into this final has been an amazing effort. That's North Cronulla as they make their way out to sea. Remember, 500 boats were on the beach here first thing on Friday morning. Over 2,000 rowers, so to make a final is quite an effort here at the Australian. Absolutely, but to get there, they've come, worked very hard to get there. Darrell, the, the thing with the boats, they go at their slowest when the blade is in the water, when the oar is in the water. It's all about doing exactly the same thing at exactly the same time. He stopped. Yeah, Mona Vale's uh, waiting for that wave. That's why he stopped. They've got knocked back. Ah, oh, back shoot up on the top corner too. Look at that, the water pouring out of the pumps now. And what a bad luck that is. That's Karawa. Karawa, the local club, would well, you think they uh, would probably have a bit of an advantage as they row here all the time. As you can see, one wave knocks them back. Now they make their way out to sea again, but Karawa carrying a lot of water. We showed you those pumps earlier today, and again they get hit, and the boat's so low that they've got to keep rowing and hoping that the pumps will take over. And still they come out, and another one's going to hit them. They're out of business because up front, look at this, the action continues. North Cronulla doing a great job. And there's a sweep, lost his oar there. Mona Vale, so they've been hit. Look at the water sitting in the bottom of the boat. Another wave smashes and crashes them. Well, that's not a way you want to finish the Australian. The sweep's helpless. He can't help them. All he's trying to do now is give them some trim in the boat. He's standing in the centre of the boat. They're still rowing it out. The pumps are starting to work now. But they're out of business in this Australian Championship. North Cronulla in the box seat. Absolutely in the box seat. Now, the sweep is the eyes and the ears. He's going to talk them into this turn. He'll tell them when they're approaching the boy and he'll drive them through the turn. Round they come to the cans and you'll see him get underneath the sweep or he'll try and lift the back of the boat around for him. Coming in now, he calls him. He says, Boyo now. See him go over his oar. He's working that big blade up. You've got two that have stopped rowing. The other two now are rowing it round. Now he says all together. Now he'll pull it round and straighten it up for the beach. He's got a marker there on the beach that he's heading for. He's got to go through those uh, gate cans to make sure he takes a straight line home. This race is not over yet. As well will make the difference. Watch the boats as they start to wander around the ocean looking for the energy. Now, again, this is all about, I said before, focus. These guys have got 12 months worth of work on the line here 
just because you've turned third or fourth, it is not over. Waves coming now, waves coming now as they come down. And you can see the little runners milking it for everything they can. They're no different from a, a board or a boat. And there's a better swell building up now. Now the power goes on. Look at the uh, right-hand side of your screen. They'll drop off this one, though. They've got to try and get themselves onto a wave. Here we go. Here we go now. Now you'll watch the sweep start the work as this will stand up on the bank. The power goes in now. He's calling for them to run the boat. Run the boat now, he says. Run it hard now. Trying to pull over the top of it. And they're going to do it too. They're going to do it too. They're both going to be on the same wave here now. He's trying to pull it over. North Cronulla. Who's that other crew? Well, I can't see who that is, Darrell, but this is all about the, the bow. The front end of the boat, you must have the grunt. You've got to go as hard as you can. South Maroubra, it is the other boat now as they come down. and He's going to pull over the top of this too. Now it's strike for strike now. It's up to the sweeps. He's saying drive it. They're going to drop off the back. North Cronulla do it. North Cronulla come over the top. The bowman working very hard now. And those South Maroubra are fighting back. Now they get onto the same run again. What about this for a finish? South Maroubra came back. They were dead. They were gone. And the bowman started to pull them up. And the stroke said, let's go. North Cronulla now. North Cronulla. One more stroke. They can do it. North Cronulla come off the back of it again. And South Maroubra might get the run here. They may get the run. South Maroubra. I think South Maroubra have got it. I think South Maroubra have got it. Oh, what about that for a finish? I mean, South Maroubra were dead set gone two or three times, and those bowmen, they just lifted and lifted and lifted. Third place, the yellow boat up the top. Darrell, my pick is North Cronulla. Graham Cashy, the sweep. I just think they got a better run at the finish and just got over it. But, I mean, it is so close. You've got to leave it to the judges. They uh, look South Maroubra. Yep. Yep. South Maroubra. I mean, it was so tight, but it's South Maroubra got it. They just had the momentum mark. When you come off the run like that, the judge is looking to see which boat hits that sand on the on the downward motion. South Barouba. Now, let's have a look at this because look where they are there. Now, North Cronulla was striving to get over the front of this row. You can see the bowmen. They're giving it everything they got. And all of a sudden, South Barouba get this drive on. And when you start to feel the boat accelerate, let me tell you, the crew starts to respond. Absolutely. And in this, the, like, the race is virtually over. It is, this is not strength. This is ticker that, that wins this race. Also, the sweep there. Now, you can see he's leaning right back. He's trying to keep the uh, back end of the boat as steady as he can to get the drive going. Now they go. Look at the bow start to dip down. Now North Cronulla here. Look at this. They are over the front of it and they just couldn't pull down the front of it and South Barubra get a drive on. Now this is where I think, see they've already got the momentum. North Cronulla pick it up again now. They drive it but for mine South Barubra because of the way the boat was accelerating down the face and I've been proven right. Oh, no result yet but I reckon they think they've got it too. Have a look. But it's a very split decision. The judges are having a look at it now. But I would think South Maruba will get it for the reasons explained. Well, they obviously think that they've won it too. But it's, uh, it's up to the judges. It's just so close. In fact, it was a real photo finish. The race was so close. And in the end, it was awarded to North Cronulla. Boy, oh boy, you don't get much closer than that. You're watching the Carlton United Surf Life Saving Championships from Karawa. Next, we dip a paddle or two into the...